I think another restart. And basically this seems to be just the way of just restart until it gets the point now. It's also important to note though that you can give um, both the virtual machine itself and the graphics adapter too much memory. By which I mean, you know, you can you can set it to something like 128 megabytes of graphic RAM and 512 megs of, of system RAM or whatever. If you have that available to spare on your host machine, then fair enough. But um, you are going to run into some problems more than likely when running Windows itself. Right now, uh, that hasn't worked again, so I'm going to shut it down and do the same thing in VirtualBox again. I think the problem I am having here is that I didn't enable the Cytec driver before uh, before changing the settings last time. So again we go to display and I'm going to drop it back down to 24 megabytes. It really doesn't matter for all the gaming I'm going to do on Windows 98. Um, I think the most I've ever seen a game of that era actually require was about 16 megabytes so you should still be comfortably over whatever uh, is actually required of your system and we go back in again wait for display doctor to pop itself up now can I set some bloody settings? No, or not All right, okay. Now we'll go for that. And that. Yeah, so we start the down system again. I, it is, I think, just a matter of perseverance at this pace. At this point, unless I've missed something critical, because I'm gonna have to do the whole bloody video again. But this is what I mean when I say mixed success. Sometimes it does work, and sometimes it doesn't. So we'll go back in here again. Let's see what it's decided to say my graphics device is. Yes, it knows what it is. And still not giving me any settings besides that. Right. Okay, so the answer to this. Um, would appear to be that this doesn't want to work anymore. So that's fine. I'll do something else then. If that's worked for you, then what you should see are some other modes. I don't know why I've just started it up again. That wasn't really what I wanted to do. Um, you will be able to see this without having to register Display Doctor. If you get it working for yourself, then all well and good. Just uh, make sure you find a serial code, otherwise your graphics will stop working after 21 days when the trial expires. I'm going to uninstall it now. Thank you for that. And I'm going to go with uh, with the other option, which are the VBE9X drivers, which again I'll make available inside the ISO image. Now we still have this uh, this CD plugged in, I think. What we should do? Yes, and do we do? Um, so what I'm going to do is copy the VBX drivers across to the desktop. Uh, crack them open. Make sure they're then copied over properly. Good stuff. And now, right click the desktop, properties, settings. And we're back onto standard PCI graphics adapter VGA. We'll go for adapter and I'm going to change that. I'm going to display a list of all the drivers in a specific location. I have the disk. I'm going to tell Windows where to look for it. Uh, it's on the desktop, which in Windows 98 is in C Windows Desktop. It's in VB9X. And I'm going to go for Uni. As I say, I think these ones will work better than the uh, 
virtual box. Now this one uh, is the one that's recommending. If you go to show all devices, you can see there are actually quite a few different uh, adapters you can choose. I'm going to go for this one, which is actually I think the one it recommended. I do, but uh, if it doesn't work for you, then you can select whichever one you actually want. Um, we'll reboot with the new graphics driver in. This is actually the driver I have working in my other virtual box there. You can see actually this is working now. You can immediately see the difference in just the, the speed at which the mouse cursor is is moving again and the colour change in the way the uh, background is being rendered. So we can go back to properties and um, we're in 256 colours now. We can go to true colour, 32 bit and get our 640 there we go. And that is that. And that is working fine. Now, the reason I think that's worked over a previous installation I've had where it didn't is because I installed Display Doctor first. So, what I would recommend you do is to install Display Doctor itself first, try and get that to work in the same sort of way that I've done with this system here. If it doesn't work, then go ahead and install this driver inside the uni folder there. So that seems to be working fine. We've got sound, we've got graphics, and we've got uh, not too much by way of CPU usage. Obviously, if you've gone through the SciTech route and it has worked, then you'll need to uh, register your copy of it before it expires. What I'm going to do now is put in that game which I mentioned at the start of the video, start of generations. So it happens I already have my ISO images in here. So that will mount image number one, disk one. It'll pop up with the auto run in Windows 7, which I don't want because I don't want to install it in Windows 7. To get that device into the virtual virtual drive, we have a look and see it's device zero which is G. So, I'm going to show the VirtualBox my host drive G, which will pop in with the CD drive and we get the auto run. So, we'll install, and this works like any other program install. We'll install to generations, fine and dandy, maximum install, yes, I'll install DirectX 3's 3A. <laughs> Uh, basically, I'm just going to hover over Demon Tools and wait for the installer to ask for disk 2, which it will in a moment. Do note as well, if you're doing it this way and installing from a hard disk image, then the performance increase, sorry, the performance increase from installing everything to hard drive um, is actually minimal because it's already on your hard drive. And the access speeds from, <coughs> so from the uh, pseudo hard drive, uh, the pseudo CD drive, sorry, are identical to hard drive access speeds. So you can probably save yourself some time and just install the minimal installation, which will just install the game's framework. Ask me for CD1 again in a minute, because it likes to make noises at me. There we go. And it is just as simple as waiting for the source to remount the image. We give it a second for the auto run to pop up. And then we know that it's read the disk. Add to the generations folder. It'll install DirectX 3, which uh, I don't know what version of DirectX actually came with Windows 98, but it's a good idea to select it anyway. You can register with Microprose, Microprose if you really want, but they don't exist anymore. So you'll have a job actually doing it, and I'll go ahead and let it restart the system. Boots up quicker than any other Windows 98 system I actually ever had, which is fine, I don't think. Um, you also notice it boots up a lot quicker with the uh, actual display drivers working in it as well. Um, this just seems to be a feature of it. 
Now that we've booted back into 32-bit, you get the 32-bit uh, icon for Internet Explorer, which looks better, I suppose. And the 32-bit icon for Rain as well, and the desktop generally just looks better. So now, this is a game which does not work in Windows 7. Essentially, running in Windows 7. Um, we'll go through, here are some videos. On her maiden voyage. It's a Star Trek game. And one thing I have Captain. noticed with this. I get blindsided by quite a lot of music there. Uh, is that the cursor does tend to disappear on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Returning to game. Data, conduct a short range scan of the station to acquire transport coordinates. Uh, but this. Aye, sir. Short range scan of station complete. Commander Riker to the transporter room. Loads rather quickly. Um. Captain, these blast patterns are consistent with Type 3 disruptors. Which narrows it down to Klingons, Romulans, or Breen. Proceed with caution, number one. The attackers may still be on board. And that's about it so for this video. I don't really need to. Shut up. I don't really need to play through the rest of the game. It will crash on exit. But uh, as long as you save your game beforehand, that won't be an issue. Uh, I don't really need to play through the rest of it because it's just a game. So. Uh, that's pretty much that. Uh, with a bit of luck, I'll, I'll clean up the video after this. So, but with a bit of luck, you should be gaming in Windows 98 with no problems.